this morning. And we'll begin last night with last night's Donald Trump town hall in Pennsylvania. The event started off like most of his other town halls with the former president taking some questions. When asked what he would do to curb illegal immigration and bring down inflation, the former president gave a very long and rambling answer in which he suggested that migrants should cross the border illegally and then told the crowd to go vote in January. And I said, the two things I'm going to do, first, we're going to close that border and people are going to come in. You want people to come in. We need people to come in. People are going to come into our country legally. You know, it's so unfair. You have people that are waiting on a system, on a line, and they've been waiting on this line, you know how long, for years, 10 years, 12 years, and they study and they take tests. And, they, and then people come. I actually say, why don't you just go on the, just come on across. I tell people that it's terrible, right? I say, go out. You're incredible. They say, what can I do to speed up the process? I say, you know what? Go to the southern border. I'll see you on the other side. It's so unfair. I'll tell you, if everything works out, if everybody gets out and votes on January 5th or before, you know, it used to be you'd have a date. Today you can vote two months before, probably three months after. They don't know what the hell they're doing. But we're going to straighten it all out. We're going to straighten that out, too. We're going to straighten our election process out, too. That's going to be important. As if that wasn't strange enough, things then took a turn about 30 minutes in. Now, NBC reporters who were there in the room say it was quite warm and that may have contributed to a man in the crowd needing medical attention. That individual was eventually taken out on a stretcher and gave the crowd a thumbs up, as you can see there, as he was wheeled out. Minutes later, a woman would also need medical attention. Thankfully, she was able to get back on her feet and walk outside. Those disruptions essentially derailed the rest of the event, with Trump then deciding he was done answering questions. Let's not do any more questions. Let's just listen to music. Let's make it into our music. <laughs> Who the hell wants to hear questions? Man? You don't have to go so fast. You can sit and listen. We'll play a couple of songs. Some of you will be a little warm, but that's okay. It's not a bad thing. And if you want, we're going to do that. But I think it would be beautiful. Don't you think? A little different. I think it'd be amazing, sir. Nice to have imagination. Isn't it a nice thing to have imagination? The former president then spent the next 39 minutes playing songs from his playlist, 10 songs in total, and he stood on stage the entire time. And as you can see, he sometimes swayed along to the music while staring into the distance. South Dakota Governor Kirstie Nome was there as well. Trump closed out the night with November rain by Guns N' Roses blaring in the room, waving to the crowd, pumping his fist, and then finally walking off the strange stage. A truly bizarre scene last night. Trump holding a little concert, just standing on stage, bopping along. Meanwhile.